The following video contains excerpts from our Day 1, Part 4, UCONC Series Diagnostics, Server Configuration Utility Playbook. For a complete configuration guide, subscribers can download the playbook from our website. Welcome to our drawing, Day 1 C-Series Server Deployment for Cisco Collaboration, Diagnostics, Server Configuration Utility, SCU. Cisco recommends running a full test suite the first time a brand new server is built to identify any potential dead on arrival parts. Doing otherwise would just be foolish. We say that, not Cisco. In this drawing, we'll describe the tasks required to run diagnostics using SIMC and the server configuration utility. Here are the day one tasks for Cisco Collab on C-Series. On day one, we deploy the C-Series server itself. On day one, we also deploy the hypervisor, our ESXi host. Only a subset of the tasks are required for BE deployment. We'll run through everything for UC on C-Series. Enterprise 20 runs diagnostics immediately after SIMC is configured. We've seen enterprises do this after the firmware has been upgraded, but we'd rather run diagnostics sooner than later. It's possible to run the diagnostics before you've even racked and cabled the server. Timing is up to you, but do run diagnostics before moving on to working with the hypervisor. The following tasks are part of running the diagnostics. Access the SIMC GUI in Server Console, boot system using SCU image, run diagnostics, and evaluate results. Click on Launch KVM Console or the icon in the toolbar to launch a KVM session. Our BE6000 shipped with SCU version 3.1.3b. We downloaded 3.1.5g and we'll use that moving forward. It's not so important what version of SCU you use as long as you run the diagnostics. Check the box beside the image you just selected and check the box in the mapped column. With the KVM console open, switch to the SIMC GUI and on the Server Summary page, Power Cycle Server. Click OK to the dialog box and immediately switch to the KVM console. The Cisco UCS Server Configuration Utility should boot. The process for running diagnostics is the same for a given version of SCU, regardless of which procedure you use to boot the ISO. Navigate to Diagnostic Tools, Tests, Comprehensive Tests. Click Run Test. Navigate to Diagnostic Tools, Tests, Test Log Summary. The test should complete successfully. If there are any issues, you should resolve them immediately. Note, Nix with no link will fail the interface link test. SIMC is configured. You can access the server console using KVM and shut down, start up, and reboot the server. Diagnostics show the server is good to go. If you have a BE, you can optionally upgrade the firmware and configure server monitoring or move on to hypervisor deployment. For a specs-based or TRC solution, you'll need to configure RAID. Coming up next, Day 1, Cisco Collaboration on C-Series Server Deployment Upgrade Firmware, Host Upgrade Utility. Thanks for watching!